dollars to replace. School leaders say they'd love to get more money to help with these fixes, but they don't want to use too much of their taxpayers' funds, so they're getting creative and recycling. Hundreds of plastic bottles litter the hallways of Weatherfield schools. But it's not because they don't throw away their garbage. It's because they recycle. Uh, aspect of service, I think, really resonates with a lot of our kids. Um, kids want to be involved in things. This small, one-building school district in Kiwani is involved in a contest with 95 other schools <gasps> all it around is the a nation one. to see who can recycle the most. The money that they um, offer as prizes is used for green improvements. Um, so, I mean, it can be new windows, it could be solar panels. Just hit the plus button, scan the barcode of our item. The schools compete for a top prize of $25,000. And with students like Jewel Kales involved, Weathersfield hopes to get some of that money helping their school. We could, like, buy more things that we've never had before, like upgrade on different things. A new boiler and hundreds of new windows that could cost nearly $300,000 to replace. Winning this contest would help fix this school and save thousands in energy costs every year. But they're learning something as well. Then you have a wide variety of attitudes and um, dispositions. So some of them are really excited and um, some of them it's a learning process. They don't recycle at home so they don't remember to put and in the recycling containers, they just simply throw it away like they're used to at home. And as for the mess, well, they hope it grows much larger before this contest is over. In Kiwani, Taylor Umland, KWQC, TV6 News. Weathersfield is currently in 30th place. They project they need nearly 20,000 more recyclables this year to earn a prize. To donate, you can drop off your items to Weathersfield and Kiwani by the end of April. Another school competing to get some support as well. A video put together by Costa Capital.